Hello friends, this is Daniel Glenn and today is just a short video showing you how to share an Outlook calendar to the internet. You might want to do this because you are running an event, as in my case, or want to share a calendar with a group for organizing your soccer team or community events um, with your organization. So I want to dive right into this and show you how to do this. I have the calendar open in Outlook for Windows. I'm going to go to Share and then select the calendar. This is the permissions for the calendar and I'm going to click Add, but this is really adding individual people within my organization and that's not really what I want to do. I want to publish it publicly. So I'm going to click Cancel and then I'll go over to Account Settings here so to see what I can see. How I can publish this. If I go over to publish calendars, uh, there of course is no calendar published yet, that's what I want to do, but right below you'll notice it says to publish a calendar, right click the calendar in Outlook and click publish to internet. Perfect, that's exactly what I want to do. So expand the calendars here, right click on the calendar and click uh, where is published to internet? It's not anywhere. Selecting sharing permissions it just shows me the same permissions. So where is it that I need to go to publish to the internet? I can't do it apparently in Outlook for Windows. The trick is to use Outlook for the web. Why they are different? I don't know, but let's take a look at it. So I have opened up the calendar, same calendar, but I've logged into uh, Outlook for the web office.com going to Outlook. So this is a Microsoft 365 account. I'm going to go to settings and then down at the bottom you'll see a link that says view all Outlook settings right there. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to be on the calendar tab and then the shared calendar page is where I want to go. So we want to publish this to the internet. We don't want to share it with individuals. So we want to publish a calendar. Select the calendar we want, and then here are the settings. So we can do, can view when I'm busy. So this will only show blocks of time when there's items on the calendar. View titles and locations for those, uh, for each meeting that's on the calendar, or view all details. In my case, I want to view all details because I have a Microsoft Teams meeting link in every one of my uh, events in the calendar so I need everyone to be able to open up those uh, the uh, event itself and click on uh, the link so you can view all details and then click publish it really is just that easy I wish it was this easy in Outlook for the desktop but it's not so I have two links here one is the HTML link I can share this link to my intended audience and what this will give them is a web page. It'll open up in the browser and show the calendar in the browser and they'll be able to open up each entry uh, in the calendar and view the details. I can, this, the second one is an ICS. An ICS is a calendaring standard. So what this means is using this URL, anyone can open up this calendar in Outlook, their Outlook. Uh, what they they can do this two ways. They can import it or they can subscribe to it. I'm going to show you how to do that in a, a video coming up. You can check it out with a link above. But there's different use cases here and how you want to use it. But it is there. So this is how you can publish your calendar to the internet. When you want to unpublish, well, you just click the unpublish button and you're done. Okay. So hopefully this was helpful for you to figure out how to navigate publishing calendar to the internet. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get all the updates that I publish here on YouTube. Thank you very much and bye-bye.